In this video, we'll review some topics in statistics, variance and standard deviation. We asked five students in a ninth grade algebra class, how old are you? And their responses are recorded. There is no variance in the data because all of the data values are the same. This kind of data set is rather uninteresting to analyze. We asked the same question of five students in the cafeteria during lunch. Their responses are recorded. As you can see, there is variance in this data because the data values are not all the same. Then we asked four people, how many siblings do you have? Their responses are recorded. We can consider questions like what is the range, the mean, and the variance of this data set. Range is the difference of the largest minus the smallest data value, so the range in this data set is 4. To find the mean, we add up all of the numbers and then divide by the number of items in the set. So 1 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 equals 12, and 12 divided by 4 is 3, and so the mean of this data set is 3. Now variance is a little bit of a complicated formula. Let's take a look at it. The denominator is easy enough to figure out. The denominator is simply the number of data points minus 1. So in our case, the denominator here will be 3. The numerator has that backwards looking 3. That's a Greek symbol standing for the sum of. And so we're going to add some expressions together. And the expressions will be the difference of each of the data values minus the mean. x bar, the x with the bar over it stands for mean. OK, so let's try to calculate that numerator. We're going to take each item in the data set the 1, the 5, the 3, and the 3. We'll subtract away the mean from each of those data values and square it and then add that together. Okay, so let's simplify these quantities. 1 minus 3 is negative 2, right? Negative 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 0 squared plus 0 squared. So that equals 8. And the last step to find the variance which we're calling that s squared in the formula. The last step is to divide that 8 that we got by 3 in this case, which equals 2.6 repeating. We'll truncate it to approximately 2.666. So that's our variance. We could have rounded it to 2.667 as well. So let's take a look. What could we do with variance? There's one thing related to variance, and it's called standard deviation. So in this previous data set, we remember our variance was about 2.666. And the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So the standard deviation is approximately 1.633. So it's good to know how to find the variance and the standard deviation of a set of numerical data. Here's another example. We'll ask you to find the range, mean, variance, and standard deviation. Please put the video on pause, and when you're ready, come back and we can check. All right, so here we are. We asked you to find these measures of the data, we asked you to find the range, the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. Here's your range. Check that you got that right. Remember the mean, we're going to add the four numbers and divide by four, because there's four numbers in the set. Here's your formula for variance. And remember how we find variance. We take each individual data value, subtract off the mean, square it, and add those together. 
and then we simplify that. So our variance is approximately 13.333. Standard deviation is the square root of the variance, so the standard deviation is about 3.651. Well, let's summarize what we have looked at in this video. Are you okay with the process for finding the range? Could you describe that to somebody and could you find the range of any set of numbers? Right? Remember it's the largest data value minus the smallest. And remember we find the mean, which we call x bar, by adding up all of the data values and dividing by the number of items in the set. Variance versus standard deviation. Variance is the formula on the left. It's an involved process. We have to take each individual data value, subtract off the mean, square it, add those all together, and finally divide by one fewer than the number of items of data in the set. And standard deviation, we take the square root of the variance. Now please know that there are graphing calculator functions that allow you to calculate these directly and that's going to become very useful for us.